Blessings to my kings and queens. How y'all doing out here? About to um, attempt making some ginger cookies. I have me some ginger strips I just cut up right here. I'm gonna make that with, I'm gonna use two cups of spelt flour. I have me some ginger concentrate right here. Use some agave and my sparkling water, pre sparkling water. All right, there we go. Two cups spelt flour. I'm gonna mix that up with my ginger um, ginger strips. Put that in there. I'm gonna use um, one cup agave. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of um, coconut oil, one tablespoon ginger powder, two tablespoons ginger concentrate, a dash of sea salt, one cup of agave with two cups of this spell powder. Let's get this um, ginger cookies going. All right, so in here I have two cups spelled flour, two tablespoons coconut oil, one tablespoon ginger powder, two tablespoons ginger concentrate, a dash of sea salt, one cup of agave. I'm about to mix that up with another one cup of pure sparkling spring water. So this is my mixture. Let me mix this up. Let y'all see what it do. All right, so this is my dough right here. I have some raisins. I'm going to add some raisins in this as well. We're about to make some ginger raisin cookies. All right, this is our dough. It's all sticky and everything. We're going to use some dry spelt to um to, to finish this up and this is the remainder of my spring water so i only use a, a quarter cup so that was only a quarter cup of alkaline of uh, mineral water so use some dry spell to finish up this dough and we're gonna let this out and cut out our cookies in the meantime get the oven going at 400 degrees bake that um, 400 degrees you're gonna bake that for about 25 35 minutes let's get it going all right, so my baking dish is ready. Let some oil out on this. This is my dough. I have my cookie cutter. Let's roll this out and get these cookies going. All right, I didn't roll this out too thin. I don't want my, um, I want a little chunkiness to my cookies. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. All right, y'all, see this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 cookies. Ginger, um, <clears throat> ginger raspberry cookies, raisin cookies, sorry. All right, so there we have it. Our ginger cookies, I topped that off with some um, of my coconut oil. With the rest of my dough, I made me a, a loaf. I made me a, a donut. I made me a ginger dinner roll. And there's the ginger cookies. I'm gonna to top this off with some of my um, my ham hots and some ginger powder. Throw this in the oven for about 25, 35 minutes. Alrighty, top with ginger powder and ham hots. In the oven she go, 25, 35 minutes at 400 degrees. Say hello to my timer. See her, she keeps her eyes wide open. So let's set it up. 25, oops, 25, 35 minutes. As of right now, she's at 30 minutes. All right, let's see what it do. 35, 25, 35 minutes, use that time wisely. Clean up that mess, wash the dishes, clean up the mess, you know what I mean? So when your cookies come out, you good, just chill. All right, my good people, we're going to take this one step further. We're about to make some hemp milk. We're going to do it like how my, the late, great Bernie Mac said it. Some milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. So we got the ginger cookies in the oven. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's make some, um, some hemp milk. So we're going to use 
one tablespoon one tablespoon hemp hot to one cup um, spring water blend that up straighten that out that's your hemp milk simple easy does it all right so this is it straighten that out this is your milk let that cool on the fridge for a little bit so we're gonna have our milk and cookies our milk and cookies this here is my hemp milk easy one cup hemp hot to one cup water blend that straighten that out this here is our hemp milk let me put that on the fridge to come to a chill